I wanted to do a quick video kind of explaining how uh, you can add easily orders of parts that you might get from Bricklink yourself into your inventory using Brickstore. So here is um, my order that arrived this afternoon. Not a particularly big order or anything like that, just some common parts that sell through pretty decently and some bits and pieces that um, were either a great price or, or for whatever reason I've got them so um, I'm gonna show I'm gonna switch now to the screen recording and I'll show you how quick and easy it is to get those into your inventory so first up this is where it comes in handy that the bar the seller includes the bricklink order on any kind of either paperwork or they leave kind of a reference on a card or in this case a sticker on the bubble wrap and all you need to do is go to this Bricklink order option and you click that and you are faced with um, a field up here where you can add any of your order numbers in there and you don't need to add the whole order you just add the last four digits or whatever and then simply import like that close that down and it brings in the order as you purchased it now as a force of habit what I then do is I then go through and remove any uh, markers I go through and remove any comments and I'll go and check that they don't have any bulk quantities on there that I don't want to be carrying over and equally any stockroom items and things like that that you don't want to be carrying over simple as that now um, Good practice to go through and check quantities, make sure you've got everything that you've ordered before you put it in your inventory because the only thing that's going to happen is there somewhere down the line you're going to get an order and you're not going to have the right number. So uh, what I usually do now is um, a couple of things. I, I usually set the pricing for it so depending on what you're going to do. Um, whether you're going to go for current inventory average, last six months average, whatever whatever your pricing strategy is, you whack that onto it and that gives you kind of your base price. And then you might want to adopt any remarks or factors that you've got for the, um, the, set, the, the parts from your store. So um, as I kind of went through in another video, you simply click on that tab at the top and that will import your current inventory from Bricklink meaning you'll be able to copy the remarks across into this BSX file, meaning you don't have to go rooting around to find all of the, um, the items. So make sure you've got everything selected. So Apple A if you're on a Mac or Command A, whatever it is on a PC. Go to edit, copy, copy values from document, select your store file. There's a whole heap of options here that you can have where it will merge or copy different kind of uh, values from different documents. Mine's set up the way I like it and you just click finish and therefore it fills in what it already knows from it. Now I already know that my chairs are in big draw 58. Uh, I know I don't have any of those so I'm going to stick them in um, D524 which is to my right here. Those go in 2L26, 20 of those is a fair few so I'm going to start them in my own, a new drawer over there and my 4x4 plates go in 5L5. So there we go. Now one of the things that you might want to do is think about quantity pricing as well. So if you've got a large volume of stuff people will probably pay a little bit more. So one of the options within the price setting guide is current inventory um, no, let's go here. Where is it? Average, minimum, maximum, average quantity, quantity average. That's it. So you go with that, and there you go. It kind of sets the price to that kind of quantity. Which, um, given that I've got a heap more, it's probably worth going back into your big BSX file and going through some of your larger stocks. And adjusting those and updating them and there's a video of how to do that um, elsewhere on the channel and that's it and then it's just an upload as you would normally do so it's just file export mass upload and away you go make sure you consolidate new pricing and tier pricing 
copy in that XML and verify. And away you go. 214 parts, get it added in. Jobs are good. And that's it. Send out your notifications and people will come and purchase, hopefully. And that's it. Simple as that. How to import an order from your own Brickstore file into Bricklink without having to do too much hard work. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more hints and tips as I figure them out. Thanks for watching.